Hey everybody, welcome to CG Voice by CR and designers. This is Chetan. And in this Maya tutorial, we are going to learn to create hard surface model. For these Maya tutorials, you should have the little bit of idea about the Maya interface and its fundamentals. So without further ado, let's get started. To make the model, add a cube with the help of Pi menu. Then go to the H mode. And then you need to select the edges. You can see my symmetry is turned on at there. And then you need to add the bevel at there. Here you will get the poly bevel menu. And in this, you need to give the fraction 1 and the segment will be 5. Then you need to select the faces. So that's why go to the face mode and then select these faces. Then you need to use the extrude operation and adjust the offset amount at there. So just give the small offset. And then you can delete these faces. Now you need to select the edges. So just go to the edge mode and then select these edges and then you can see I got a one edge loop from the top and one from the bottom and then use the bridge option at there. So you can fill the gaps. Then select the top and bottom corner edges and then add a bevel on these edges. Then go to the orthographic view and here I want to create a little bit of design. Then use the multi cut tool and create a center edge loop at there. To create that center edge loop, you can use the insert edge loop or multi cut tool. Then just connect these words with the help of multi cut tool and create an edge in between the words. Then you need to add the supporting loop cuts like this. You can use the insert edge loop or multi cut tool. Then you can select this edge loop and then use the move tool and then move it along the z-axis just to give the right position to it and to maintain the curve form on the model. Then you need to add few more loop cuts on the model. If you press and hold the shift and control key then you can create a loop cut with the help of multi cut tool. Wherever it's necessary then you can add the loop cuts with the help of multi cut tool or insert edge loop. Now here you need to add the loop cuts like this because we want to use the subdivision modeling so that's why I need to add the loop cuts like this. These are the supporting loop cuts to maintain the form of the model. If you face a little bit of difficulty with the multi cut tool then you can use the insert edge loop and you can add the loop cut. Then you need to select the faces with the cross selection and then use the extrude operation and give the right offset amount at there and then use the circularize component option so you can convert these faces into the circular shape and you can adjust its radial offset in that menu. Then just use the one more time extrude operation and adjust the offset at there so you can create one loop at there. And I don't want to create to this side. I will take the mirror of it. So just deselect these faces from the one side of the model. Then you can adjust the scale. After giving the right scale, you can delete the faces. Then select these edge loops and use the poly bridge option with the help of pi menu. And then select these faces and then use the extrude operation and adjust the offset amount at there give the small offset so we will get more loops at there. Then use the insert edge loop or multi cut tool and then add supporting loop cuts at there to maintain the good form on the model. Add the auto smooth and you can see the smooth shading but we are facing the little bit of difficulty. So if you see the wireframe you can see there is a double edge. So I just need to select that edge and then control X to dissolve it. And still its words are there. So select all the words and then control X to dissolve them. So only those unwanted words will remove from the model. And now we are getting the smooth shading on the model. I just want the same result to the another side. So that's why I will delete the one half of the model. And then I will take the symmetry. So I can select this part and then I can use the pie menu and there is option mirror. So just take the mirror along the x-axis and then direction should be positive. 
and now you will get the same design to the another side now just i want to create a little bit of more design on the model so before that you can add more supportive loop cuts on the model so use the multi cut tool or insert edge loop and then add a loop cut like this these are the supportive loop cuts to maintain the good form on the model and then you can turn on the auto smooth and you can see the results then go to the left view and then select these faces and you need to select from the bottom side also and here you need to use the extrude operation and give the small offset at there and then you can delete the faces and then you need to select these edge loops and then use the bridge option same thing at the bottom side select the edge loops and then use the bridge option to fill the gap after that just you need to add more supportive loop cuts on it to maintain the good form so you can use the multi cut tool on insert edge loop and then add the loop cuts like this to maintain that form and now you can see that looks pretty well so just add few loop cuts at here so one more time you can take the mirror so delete the one half of the model and use the mirror option and take the mirror along the x axis and direction should be positive and you can create this kind of model easily so in this way you can create this kind of hard surface model in amaya so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel bye bye so next video take care